Hey everyone, it is apple season, and today on Cooking Up Love, I'm sharing one of our favorite fall recipes for apple crisp. You'll love the silky, syrupy, cinnamon spiced apple filling, and it has a crispy, buttery oat topping that's a little bit like the most delicious oatmeal cookies. This is perfect to share with family and friends, and it really is a wonderful choice for holiday tables. Now let me show you how we make this. Here's the ingredients we'll be using, and I've also listed everything you'll need and the recipe in the description box below. We'll be using about three pounds of apples, some lemon juice, cornstarch for the apple filling, flour, white and brown sugar, some oats, cinnamon, and butter. First, we're going to make the crispy oat topping. Measure out a cup and a quarter cup of flour, a half cup of brown sugar, you can use either light or dark, and a quarter cup of granulated white sugar. Add three quarters teaspoon kosher salt and mix this all together. Next, add 12 tablespoons of cold butter. I'm using a cheese grater to grate it into the bowl and then stopping to toss every so often with the flour mixture and this will help it so that the butter doesn't get all clumped together. You could also dice the butter into small pieces and then add it to the mixture. Okay, next use a pastry blender or your fingers to incorporate the butter into the mixture. You want to mix it into pea-sized pieces. Then add one and a half cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, not the instant kind, and then use your hands to toss the mixture together, squeezing slightly to form little bits together, and these will crisp up like little bits of oatmeal cookies as it cooks. Put the mixture into the refrigerator so it stays cold while you're getting the apples ready. Next, start preheating the oven to 375 degrees. Then juice one or two lemons, enough so that you'll have two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then set this aside. Now it's time to peel, core, and chop the apples. And you're going to want the apples to be about a half inch in size. This is about three pounds of apples. I'm using a couple of Honeycrisp and some Sweet Tangos. And if you have a little more or a little less, not to worry, you'll be totally fine. Hey, if this is your first time here at Cooking Up Love, we are making easy and delicious recipes that you can make with confidence and share with everyone you love. And if you're like us, spending lots of time with loved ones is going to be extra special this year. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming easy fall and holiday recipes. As you chop the apples, add them to a large mixing bowl and then add some of the lemon juice on top and toss. Continue cutting the apples until they're all done. Then add the rest of the lemon juice and toss again. Next, we're going to mix together the rest of the ingredients. In a small bowl, measure out two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and two tablespoons of sugar, and give it a stir. After tasting the apples, I found that mine were a little on the tart side, so I've also added another two tablespoons of sugar. Mix again and then sprinkle over the apples. I like to sprinkle in a little bit and then mix it with the apples and repeat until it's all in. Then pour the apples into a large casserole dish. Get the oatmeal topping out of the fridge and then sprinkle it over the top of the apples. This apple crisp is so easy, you don't have to worry about making a crust, and it cooks up in about an hour. Pop this into a 375 degree oven and bake for 50 to 60 minutes. And I topped it with foil during the last 15 minutes to keep the top from getting overdone. When you see the apple filling bubbling up around the edges and the crumb topping is golden brown, it's ready. Guys, this smells so good. This dessert is easy enough to make any day and it's a wonderful dish for holiday tables. It's perfect served up with vanilla ice cream and a touch of caramel. 
Hey, if you like this recipe, do me a favor and press the like button and share it with a friend. And we've got so many delicious recipes that are perfect for sharing, and I've put together a playlist to get you started. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.